What's going on, folks? What's going on, folks? This is Wesley, Million Dollar Virgin. Get in here tonight. Get in here right now, this afternoon, this evening, this morning. Get in here because what I want to discuss, and I want the young generation to listen to me very closely, okay? Because this video is for you. <laughs> now, older gentlemen, older people, okay? Baby boomers, you might not like this video, but it's okay. But the young generation needs to be advised. And let me let me share some with you. Just because you are older, okay? Just because you are older, an older man or an older woman doesn't mean you have wisdom. Does it make sense? Uh, and I'm gonna share a story with you, okay? I'm not gonna say any names because some of the people that I'm going to talk about are probably watching this video right now. I know. But check this out. So I was having a conversation today. I'm leaving my company. I'm leaving my high rise. I'm leaving my apartments, right? And, um, you know, my Lamborghini comes out in the morning like it does every time on Mondays. Because on Mondays I drive my Lamborghini. Look, that's it. I'm driving it. And he said, hey, hey, Wes, what's up? I said, hey, man, what's going on? How are you? And he said, Wes, um... How much money did you pay for that Lamborghini? And I said, well, I paid 215000 by 215 Oh, oh, so you're leasing it? I said, no, I don't lease cars. I pay cash for it. And do you know this man? Now, this young man, you know, he has a nice job. He has a business. Um, I'm pretty sure he makes good money. He's in his, I think, 60s or uh, late 50s. And you know what he told me? <laughs> you, know, you know what he told me? He says that, oh, that's dumb. Let me say it again. He said, well, that's stupid. And I was thrown back. And I knew this gentleman, you know, cool guy. And it shocked me. But I didn't get upset. I said, well, why is it dumb? Well, you should lease a car. You should lease your car because the value depreciates so quickly and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay. So I said, let me ask you a question. Do you think it is fair or do you think it is cool? For you to place judgment on what I do with my finances when you don't know anything about my finances. He said, well, well, I didn't, I didn't mean to say it was dumb. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it was stupid. Um, and then this young man said, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I got a friend that he's a billionaire and, you know, he basically, he just buys cars. Because what I told him, I said, it's all relative, man. It's all relative to the money that you make. Like if you're only making twenty thousand dollars a month, twenty thousand dollars net per month, you shouldn't go buy a Lamborghini. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't even lease one, right? Because it's over maybe, if not one fourth of your income per month, okay? And he was talking about this billionaire. He said, "Yeah, but this billionaire, he bought. It's no consequence to him." And I said, "Exactly." I said, "Well, Wesley Virgin." I said it just like this. Wesley Virgin is a car enthusiast. Wesley Virgin, I prefer not to lease my cars. Wesley Virgin, I prefer not to rent my cars. I, I choose not to finance my cars as well. And just because I make that decision doesn't mean that I'm not making a wise decision. And let me tell you what happened because I was talking to another gentleman and he heard the conversation and I was talking to him about it. He said, well, Wesley, you know, he's older and he's wise. You know, he's trying to give you wisdom. And I said, stop. First, we must define what wisdom is. See, we throw these words out and we're not defining what is wisdom. Okay? Are we saying that wisdom is the total knowledge of what we have learned from our experiences throughout our life? That's my definition. But see, most people, they use their word wisdom as knowledge that the people can use to fix their lives, to develop or become financially successful, to be healthy. Let me share something with you. It doesn't matter if I go to the gym and if a person is 200 pounds overweight, I don't care what they did 10 years ago. I don't care if they ran the Olympics five years ago, but if their body is not resembling if their body is not projecting the image that I want, 
I don't follow them. That is not wisdom. See, to me, if we really want to get down to the point, wisdom is someone that have learned something, mastered something, and applying it to their life consistently. And it doesn't matter how old they are. It doesn't matter if they're 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years old. The person is still applying the same skill or the same things that they used to create that the life that they have today. Guys, did that make sense? See, that young man, he was trying to educate me, but he doesn't understand me. When I say he don't understand me, he doesn't understand my generation. He's a baby boomer. I'm a generation X. I mean, I'm generation Y. You, if you're if you're born after 1984, you are a millennial. Do you understand that we don't think the same thing as people that, like my mom and dad? I don't think like them. Does understand? I don't. I love them. I care about them. But I'm not going to have a discussion with them and have them advise me about what I should be doing in my life, what I should be doing with my finances. No. Because it has changed. The world is different from what it was 40 years ago. See, this young man, he has worked a job all his life. Then he has a business. And he feels that the way that he's working and making money is the way that he should do it. And I don't care if that guy's making $40,000 a month. But every day he's going to a job to get that income. Or he's going to his business to get that income. I am not... Does that understand? See, check this out. You know, where I live today, people that stay in my high rise, they ask me and they ask the people that know me, what does that guy do? He's always outside by the valet stand. He's always talking to people. I never see him work. When does he work? And guess what? Everybody that's having these conversations, they're over the age of 50. And what I'm thinking in my mind, see, they don't understand the game has changed. See, how you're doing it, we're not doing it that way anywhere, anymore. This is the time of the knowledge workers, not using my hands, not using this physical effort like we did 50 years ago. We are using our minds to create wealth. We are thinking differently than our parents. And guess what we should? We should think differently. Why would I think the same? I don't think my parents want me to be like them. I think they want me to be better than them. I think they want me to earn more than them. I think they want me to have a better life than them. I know I want the same for my children. Again, just because a person is older and they're trying to advise you about your life, they're trying to tell you how to save your money, they're trying to tell you how to spend your money, they're trying to tell you everything what you should be doing with your life. The only thing that matters is the result. See, what I do is I look at a person's life and if it's not the life that I want, I don't follow them. I don't care even if the wisdom sounds good. See, some of you guys, you say, well, he was sincere when he said that, Wesley. You know, he's trying to help you out, Wesley. He was sincere. He spoke from the heart. God, just because a person is sincere doesn't mean they're right. It doesn't mean they're right. They could be sincerely wrong. A person can tell you a story, tell you about their life, tell you what they have done, and they could be wrong. Guys, did that make sense? Young generation, I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to the baby boomers right now. I love you. I'm not talking to you. Because I see so many young people that are taking advice from old school people, old school cats, older gentlemen, whatever. Great. And they think that the information they're getting, you're getting information that is obsolescent. You're getting information that is no longer used in 2000. We're not using this information to get rich. We're not using this information to make sure our lives are better, to be happy, to be striving. Why? Because we think differently. See, understand this, years ago, do you understand like my parents, when there was like what, in their, their teens, they didn't have to worry about AIDS. They didn't use condoms, right? They didn't even use condoms. Back when my my parents were children, or when they were teenagers, they didn't use condoms because they didn't have this thing that was called AIDS. They didn't know what this was. What is this epidemic? Now today, you better strap up. You better strap up. It was a time, check this out. 
it was a time we didn't have a cell phone. We couldn't write on our iPads. We didn't have Facebook. Right? Just because a person is older than you and they're trying to give you genuine advice doesn't mean that they're right. It doesn't mean they have wisdom. Yes, they have more experiences than you. Yes, they have lived longer than you. But what you need to focus on, um, and what you need to pay attention to, is how is their life right now. Now, check this out. I'm not going to put anybody's business out there, but that person I was speaking to, he has one car. Because I only seen one. But you know what he told me? He said, well, I used to have 100 cars. And I'm saying, used to don't pay any bills. Used to don't do nothing for me today. Stop living in your past. A lot of older gentlemen, they do this. They say, oh, Wesley, I had all of that before. I had the Ferrari. I had, who cares what you had? Who cares? What do you have now? Let me share something with you. Right now I'm in my 30s. When I'm 60 years old, I would not be referring back to my past and to my past and telling you how great my life was. Oh, back in the day, oh man, I used to have a Lamborghini. I used to have a high rise, and now you know I'm you know I'm I'm, I'm gonna get back up there. But no, I would never refer back to my past and think about things that I've did exceptionally well in my past. Guess what? My past is nothing but a foundation to the great things that are ahead of me. You know, the older generation, they're always referring back to what they did years ago. Or what they used to do. Or what they had before. No one cares. No one cares. You know what the young generation wants? They want to see it happening to you now. They're like, what you got now? They're going to tell you, well, man, you shouldn't get all that. You know, I had a Larry McKinney and I had a divorce and I lost everything. You know what I mean? Then I find it wasn't really worth it. You know, so, man, don't waste your money there. Why would you tell me how to live my life? Why would you tell another person just because you made bad decisions, just because you effed up and made bad, bad, you know, decisions? <laughs> just because you made that bad decision, now you telling me that I can't do something that I want just because of your ignorance? No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Just because you're older, young generation, I'm talking to you. Millennials, Generation X, Generation Y, I'm talking to you. Just because a person is older doesn't mean they have wisdom. Even me, if I'm older than you and I'm speaking to you, if my life is not portraying a life that you want, you shouldn't follow me. You shouldn't listen to me. Just because a person tells you a story and they try to give you the perception that what you're doing is wrong, but it's what you want to do, and you look at that person now, and, and you know, based off on paper or, or um, from a perceptual standpoint, it almost appears that you're doing better than them. Yeah, I've had, man, I have older gentlemen tell me many of them oh Wesley slow down well what are you doing why are you paying cash why you got all these cars why are you doing this and you know how you know you know what I think it is I love them they almost resent that I'm doing it easier than what they're than how they're doing it let me say that one time and this is gonna happen to you gener young generation young generation because you got people in their 20s making millions and millions of dollars a month in their 20s See, young generation, when the older guys see that you're making it, and they see that you're making it a little bit easier than he's making it, it makes him feel a certain way because he feels that the knowledge that he has is concrete. He feels that he just knows it. Maybe he have a million dollars in the bank, but he's working hard for that million. He's using the same strategies and the same techniques he used 20 years ago to create it. Then when he see a person like Wesley Million Dollar Virgin and every month coming out with a brand new beautiful car and I'm paying $100,000 cash and I got the titles to prove it, then I'm building homes around the freaking world and I'm traveling and they see me every day with a smile on my face, I'm not upset, I'm not frustrated, I'm not depressed, I'm not working. <laughs> I think they resent it. I think, I think it makes them feel a certain way. But young generation, this video is for you. Pay attention. Wake up. Pay attention to who you are taking advice from. Pay attention to the person. See, it doesn't matter. Even if the person has millions of dollars, man, I'm telling you. 
I mean, if you want to make it like they made it, if you want that type of life that they're living, like me, you know what the type of life I want? I don't want to have to get up in the morning and go to work. I don't want to have to get up in the morning and go to my business and work in my business every single day. I don't want to ever have to feel like I have to do anything. Let me say that again. I don't want to have to feel that I have to do anything to make money in life. Never. Older generation, I see them every morning. They leave here. They make good money. I know people got these million dollar companies killing it but they're going somewhere every day if they don't do some activity they won't make the paycheck and it's nothing wrong with that but it's been a shift it's another way to do it in the young generation you guys better wake up stop listening to your your your, your grandfather your daddy in the older generation and I know you love them and I know you think I know you think that they have the best advice for you but you better look at their life look how they're living and look at every aspect of their life alright pay attention and if it's not what you want say hey I love you I love you daddy I love you mom I love you grand but you know what I'm gonna try it a different way. Yeah, I mean, you live in a great life, but I don't. That's not how I want to live my life. I want to do some things differently. Just because you're older doesn't mean that you're a wise individual. Okay? I know people that are older that are pretending. Yeah, yeah. Can you believe it? Pretending at 50 and 60 years old, right? You know, they have exotic cars, they have homes, but they only have ten thousand dollars in their bank account. I've seen it. I've seen people at my building get their cars repoed, and I thought that they were doing well. The same person giving me advice and your car is getting repoed and you're trying to sneak and you're trying to act like it's not getting repoed. <laughs> I don't want to put anybody's business off there. I just want to speak to the young generation, guys. This is only for you. My millennials, this is only for you. Pay attention. Just because a person is an older individual, just because they are Man, I, and I know they speak from the heart and they want to help. I know their intentions are well. I know their intentions are good. I know sometimes they're sincere when they're giving you advice about your life, about your money, about education, about going to school. But it doesn't mean it's right. And what I've learned from myself, me, Wesley, what I do is before I get wisdom or information from anybody, I want to make sure that they're living the life that I want to live. Because I understand that any advice they're giving me, if I take it, I'm going to end up like them. And you better pay attention. Unfortunately, the older generation, they work hard for money. They just do. It doesn't matter if they have a business. I don't care if they have these Fortune 500 companies. Unfortunately, they work hard for their money. I don't. I don't work hard. And I think most people don't want to work hard. It's only because they just don't know. That makes sense? It's only because they don't know. We love them. I would love to educate them. You know what I mean? I would love to teach them. I would love to say, hey, hey, hey. Hey, young man, let me show you another way. I even use the word young man. I won't say older. Hey, young man, let me show you something that you're probably missing. That you're probably missing when it comes to marketing. Guys, I love you. I appreciate you. Remember this. This was for the young generation. If you like this video, like it and share it. But remember this. This will probably save you five years of your life. <laughs> this will probably save you five years. Before you take advice from any older individual. Older gentleman. You know, that seems he's dressing nice. He got the suits on. He got him a nice BMW. He got him a nice Mercedes. And just because he looked all nice, but follow him. Pay attention to him. You know what I'm saying? Go out with him. Go to his house. See what he does. See, guys, that's why I'm always on video. Because I want you to see every aspect of my life. You see my family. You see my children. You see what I do. Because this is my life. I don't got to fake it. I'm not trying to pretend. This is just what it is. And if you're interested, you can go to WesleyVirgin.com and see everything I've done. But remember, John Generation, you better wake up and pay attention. Just because your mom and daddy tell you to go to school and you better go get a good education, go get a degree, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something. That system is flawed. It has changed. It has changed. It is different. It is not how it used to be. Wake up. Just because you're older 
doesn't mean that you're wise and it doesn't mean that you have wisdom. Hey guys, much love. Later! Later!